Good morning. Um, if you've never seen me before or don't know who I am, my name is Brittany. So this morning, I have to take my daughter's cat to the vet, Flame. His name's Flame, and he has been having like some breathing problems, so he has to go see a specialist, and they have to see if he has polyps, which <clears throat> I'm pretty sure he does have polyps. But um, yeah, the challenge today is gonna be getting him in his carrier. So we'll see if I can do that. Um, oh my gosh, I just realized I have on one eyebrow. So um, yeah, basically this morning, um, well last night, well I straightened my hair after I took down my twist I had in my hair and then I've been kind of putting them in two twists to make it wavy. Um, but last night I decided to put oil in my hair so it didn't turn out like it normally does uh, with a lot of body and cute so if all else if all else fails just throw on a headband and call it a day i guess um but yeah i'm just gonna do a quick little something to my face just do my eyebrows and put some concealer under my eyes and mascara and that's it and then we're gonna try to get this little rascal in his carrier <laughs> Your tail? Your tail okay? Okay, we got him in the car. Step one. Now it's 10 o'clock. Um, the appointment is in a bit. I have a bit of a way to, I have a ways to drive. So I have to stop and get gas. I'm gonna try to get coffee too, really quick. Um, but yeah, we did it. <laughs> he was crying. That's a little sad, but yeah, he was okay. Um, kind of want to. I don't know if I want to go in to see if they have a cappuccino or just go through McDonald's really quick and get a macchiato. I think I'll go through McDonald's though. It's cold. Yeah, they're going to McDonald's. I don't know what they're doing, but they're doing something. And it's loud. Hi, can I get a large caramel macchiato hat? I'm sorry, your macchiato machine is down right now. Um, hmm. We just have red face, these puppies, these shakes. Um, okay, then can I get um a caramel ice? Uh, 
whatever. <laughs> coffee. Coffee, yeah. Um, medium. Uh, medium frappe. Um, just the iced coffee. Yeah, like a caramel iced coffee. Okay, is that a good order? Uh, yep. Medium iced caramel coffee, that would be $2.32. Yeah. Alright, thanks. No caramel, no caramel macchiato for me. And then they didn't even give me the coffee in a coffee cup. Gave, me, gave it to me in a pop cup. <laughs> It is all good. First world problems, right? But I have no idea where I'm going, so I have to put this information in my GPS. Um, I have one minute to spare, and we should be on our way. And he is just, he's just relaxing back there. Yeah, a little cutie, I'm sorry. Yeah, he's doing okay, no more crying. But they said they'll need to do a CT scan and then most likely he does have a polyp so when he's when they're doing the CT scan they're just going to go ahead and take out the polyp um, if that's what he has. Um, ooh a plane. Oh um, I love seeing planes I don't know why but yeah so if you have a pet my advice is if they're healthy or you're thinking about getting a pet and they're they're having no issues, get pet insurance. Get pet insurance. Do your research. <laughs> um, I don't, whatever. Um, usually, um, as far as me doing my research, they usually have a waiting period um, as far as getting anything done. But it's mostly for like emergency situations or something that comes up. It's just not like, it's, I don't think it's for like just wellness visits or checkups, things like that, like regular things um, usually, but just kind of if something comes up, they need surgery, if you know they get sick. It's very, very cheap. And I was gonna get it, but I kept putting it off. But when I finally took them to the vet about the breathing, I still didn't have it. And then most of them, they don't, um, they don't cover pre-existing conditions. So, that I believe that with his breathing, that would be a, considered a pre-existing condition since I had already taken him to the vet about it and it's had already been an issue. So if I would have gotten the pet insurance after that, then it, they wouldn't have covered it. So, it's well worth it just paying those few dollars a month for a pet insurance. But right now, um, yeah, they took him back to do, you know, they took him back and they said it might take about an hour. Um, so the office is in Flint. Um, I live in Michigan. Um, so the office is in Flint. I haven't, well, I used to, so yeah, so since it's going to be an hour, I just drove to the mall, um, Genesee Valley Mall. I used to come to this mall quite a bit. But besides that, I never really hang out in Flint. Um, I've only hung out in Flint a couple times, and both times were crazy. Um, the last time I hung out in Flint, it was for my sister's birthday, and we went to this taco place. It was like a speakeasy type thing. Um, so yeah, we went to this taco place. I got um, Baria tacos. They were really good. But it was crazy. So I was, we were there with like, I was there with my sisters, um, about four of my sisters. I have a lot of sisters, but yeah, I was there with like four of my sisters. And we were like just sitting outside eating. This was in like during the summer. And this, these people came, it was like three dudes and a girl, like a woman. And they came and sat down and they were talking. We were having a conversation and then somehow the girl got involved in our conversation and then she started kind of making 
a conversation or having a conversation about like these um, just vulgar stuff and asking us vulgar questions and just being really inappropriate. And then I was getting irritated. I was like, <laughs> um, I was kind of telling her to like leave or whatever. And then she's like, I'm the manager here. I'm the manager here. And I'm like, you're not the manager. There is no way you're the manager here. And she's like, yeah, I am the manager here. And she's like, you guys are still waiting on your food because we still we were still waiting on our food to come out. And we were like, yeah, we're we're still waiting on our food, um, waiting on our drinks, whatever. And she's like, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna tell them hurry up and bring your drinks out. And we were just all like, whatever, mind you. She was also drunk. It was pretty obvious that she was drunk. She had a little too much to drink. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, you're drunk, you're being inappropriate. There's no way you're the manager here. Come to find out, she is the manager. <laughs> so she went back, got our food, cause I kind of was being snappy with her cause she was being like inappropriate and like vulgar. And I'm just like, girl, what is wrong with you? So she was kind of, she told me I was mean. <laughs> she said, you're mean. Um, she was like, F you, you're mean, or whatever. I was like, whatever, uh, <laughs> like, go somewhere. Like, and I, we were just like, okay, if you're gonna go get our food, go get our food. So, a few couple minutes later, she comes out the wait with the waitress, they're bringing our food out, and I was like, she's the manager for real. <laughs> so, that was that was freaking hilarious. So, I'm like, every time, well, I've only been to Flint a couple times to hang out, but those couple times were just funny and just crazy. So, yeah. But I'm gonna go in the mall. Um, I'm parked at Barnes and Noble. So if all else fails, just go in Barnes and Noble. So there's gonna be one somewhere, um, no matter where you go. It seems like, yeah, and just walk around and see. I'm not gonna buy anything because I'm broke, child. <laughs> After this, day. Shoot, I thought cats were low maintenance. This cat is very high maintenance. Weird. But yeah, let me go on the mall. that this boy has asthma yes asthma and they actually that little spot right there they had to shave because they had to draw his blood so yeah we went through all that just to find out that he has asthma so he has to take an inhaler um it's for animals um so yeah after that i had three hours left to go from work or to work so just got that out of the way and after that, all I did was just relax, had on my comfy clothes, and decided to read my book that I got from a used bookstore. Um, I believe it's One Who Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. And I found it at a used bookstore, like I said. Um, and it's so funny, it was only like $3. And you're gonna see my reaction now because like the second sentence of the book is pretty wild so i was like wait what yeah right there but yeah it was pretty crazy but yeah that was my day taking a little flame to the vet and that was all thank you so much for watching bye